Hello everyone, Derek Stam Toys back with, well, it is an action figure review, but as I've been doing for a couple of the past recent figure reviews, I've got an eBay package here, and you know, I'm very excited for what's on the inside of the box, as it'll be my first classic style Ultimate Edition, I guess you could say, but before I ramble my mouth. I do respect that the eBay seller put fragile on the box. Let's try and see if I can get this open without having to turn the camera off. I am using my phone as I do for all my videos, so a little bit easier, a little bit harder at the same time. He definitely taped this up fairly well, and I definitely appreciate that. I can't remember who I bought this off of, but maybe in editing I'll get a screenshot of his eBay account and post it if I do remember to do so. But, really nice dude. Had this figure up for $36 or best offer. We both came down to the agreement, and I got this for $33.40 like or $33.50, and that was after shipping and all that kind of fun stuff, so technically the shipping was free, but I don't know what else to really say on that. We got the package open. Now here's the best part, we got a bunch of paper up in there. Ooh, he bubble wrapped the figure itself too. That makes me really happy. Nothing else in the box, like no, no special note or nothing. Nope, just an empty box. You guys obviously can't tell who it is, maybe now you can. As you guys we'll see here in a moment I got the I got the original Ultimate Edition Series 7 I think it was theme figure let me just step away. Oh, you guys fell through the ropes let me just try to set that up there we go he definitely bubble wrapped the absolute hell out of this, and I really, really respect that. Uh, Alright, now all the crap's out of the way. As you can see, the Fiend Bray Wyatt Ultimate Edition Series 7 is now in my hands. It looks like he never opened this either. Because I can't see any area where there's tape on it that could have been retaped. And, you know, that that's really neat. I, I'm happy I got this as cheap as I did. Yeah, there is a little tear right there. But he did point that out when I bought it. So, there's that. But yeah, you know, why don't I get the figure out of its plastic case and we can start off with the action figure review. Oh, I can kind of see myself in the background. Ooh, I almost forgot to turn the music back on. There we go. Well, alright, now that we've got all the accessories and stuff like that out, you got a headless fiend right there. Let's look at some of these accessories and of course you've got his custom championship belt. One of the ugliest championship belts I've ever seen in my life, but, you know, for a custom horror character belt, the, the Let Me In Hurt Heal Fiend Universal Championship, whatever the hell this was supposed to be, I can't even remember. You've got his arms in the jacket piece to interchange the arms out. Okay, apparently this does not want to fold to go underneath the bottom rope. But, 
You've got a lot of nice sculpted detail on the jacket. Got a lot of nice sculpted detail on the jacket arms. You've also got the extra interchangeable hands in there, which are his hurt heel hands. Of course, the other set is in the other set of arms. And then you've got the two extra head sculpts that come with this. And this is the original head sculpt that comes on the body. Got a lot of nice detail. A little, a little weird looking, I guess you could say. But that's probably because of all the hair. Then you've got the one with the tongue sticking out. And honestly, this is probably my favorite Bray Wyatt fiend head sculpt. And yeah, with, with that, why don't we put a head sculpt back onto this figure. Get into the review itself. And then, you know, maybe, just maybe, we can get a look of what the jacket looks like and do some figure comparisons. Alrighty, so first things first, of course we don't have the butterfly articulation as we would normally be getting with Ultimate Editions with this being the original formula. Of course we've got all the rest of the articulation though, which is nice to see. <clears throat> Getting a flip around of the figure. One thing I will say is I do appreciate the tights being more accurate. And another thing, too, if, you know, he'll stand properly, is he's got the more accurate boot mold. But it does also make him a tad bit shorter. So, you know, take that as you will. Because, you know, let me get him standing, like, straight up. And then let's grab the... SummerSlam Fiend Bray Wyatt that comes with the lantern and oh, there we go. There he goes taking a nice little tumble but yeah. Let, let's get them both standing up here. Pretty much the same almost the same height but I would have to say that this one with the older Bray Wyatt jacket on I want to say that might be a little bit taller. I, I don't know. I, I might have this wrong right now. And they might be actually fairly accurate. Yeah, I think they're actually about the same height. So, maybe I was wrong there. Because I was almost totally prepared to have to kind of like boot swap these. But, wow, okay. I could also just be getting that completely wrong. But... Looking at some of the detail here on this fiend, like, you've got the tongue sticking out with this head sculpt, you've got the prayer hands on the front of the shirt, which, one thing I will say, and I don't know if it's just with the one I have or what it is, but the bottom of the prayer hands don't really come out as well in person as they might on camera. You've got the accurate tights and all that stuff. You've got the double jointed arms. But this figure is definitely a good solid figure. Is it worth going out of your way? Maybe if you can find it for the price I have it for. As now with Ultimate Editions getting better articulation wise. I don't see the true purpose in going out of your way for some of the older ones. But I've always wanted this one in my collection, and now I'm happy I can say I own it. And honestly, this fiend right here, he might get turned into a custom slash fix-up. Because, you know, just getting into some action figure comparisons before I do any articulation. Right, let's get all of these up in here, you know. Ugh. If I can get them all to stand. But just looking at them all. I mean I guess you can definitely kind of see where. He may be a tad bit shorter than his like. Firefly Funhouse variation. And the classic Bray Wyatt is way taller than all the rest of them. 
At least that's what it seems like to me. Now, I can't remember what Elite Series this Bray Wyatt is, but he's got a boot swap as the purple boots that were originally on him kind of broke off. But yeah. I kind of want to take this old Bray Wyatt, boot swap it with one of the Firefly Funhouse sprays, and then torso swap it with the old Fiend Elite so it'll kind of have more updated tattoos on it. Though, unlike with the Ultimate Edition, this does not give you nearly half the tattoo decal on the chest. Or it won't... I, I guess it gives it enough, but... I just think the Ultimate Edition looks way more accurate. And it just looks way better in general with all the updated decals and stuff on it. But you know, getting into that, why don't we break down some articulation real quick. So he can look down about that far. He can look up about that far. Of course, he's got the Ultimate Edition Ab Crunch, which isn't really the best. Can go down and go back that far. Of course, he's got the double jointed elbows, which I am kind of confused as to how it's double jointed if the other joint won't move. Hold on a second. Let me put this down. I can very, very clearly see, there we go, where the double joint is, it just did not want to bulge right away. Yeah, bulge, it did not want to budge right away, which actually kind of makes me want to, oh, jeez. I mean, I'm happy that the joints are tight and all, but holy crap. Almost, almost, might have had a fucked up figure. But... Both of the double joints in the arms work as intended. You've got the waist swivel. And of course with Ultimate Editions you kind of got some top torso swivel too. But we won't mess around with that too much. Of course he's got the upper leg movement. Along with the... If I can get it to move, there you go. You see, it, it's got the upper thigh cut. Got double joints in the knees, which are also tighter than shit. Boots a little loose, but you got ankle rotation, you've got ankle bent, and you've got toe pivot articulation. But do we really care about all that right now? We, we know what the Ultimate Edition entails. Why don't we get the jacket on here and we can rate the figure and we'll try to get this up by the end of the night. Alright, now that we've got the jacket on it, why don't we get the figure rated? Now one thing I am going to point out beforehand is... This is the only issue with having interchangeable arms for the jacket instead of just giving us like a cloth jacket. Is that you'll get the little gaps and stuff in between the jacket. But you know, honestly, it's still a really great concept. And honestly, I also don't mind it for jackets like these because at least... It's not like it's the same stuck in the same old pose, Mattel style, stupid ass jacket. But, you know, still, still has its downsides, I guess you could say. But, all in all, I think we're going to give this figure a good solid 8 out of 10. A good solid like 3.5 out of 5 stars, I think is good and credible for this. And that's just because it, it is a really great figure overall. Maybe a little inaccurate as far as height goes. But, you know, it's not the worst case scenario. And honestly, I'm happy I have this now because then if I do end up making that custom I was talking about a few minutes ago. 
then I have plenty of options to do that with. If anything, I'll probably end up taking this and having these three be what I convert into a custom Elite Bray Wyatt. But then yet again, I don't know. I might also just say screw it, leave the old Bray Wyatt the same and just make more of a street gear, well not street gear, but an unmasked fiend. I, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do yet. But... As far as the end of this goes, I think we're gonna call it quits here today. I, really solid figure though. I'm happy I have this in my collection now. But so, on that note, if you like the video, give it a like. If you want to follow for future content, feel free to subscribe. I've got... I think it's three more matches to go on night two of the pick fed, so keep your eye out for that. It probably won't go up this upcoming weekend, but maybe by next week if I can come back home in time and bust my ass on it. And then I just gotta edit it all. But, yeah, you know, subscribe for future content if you would like to do that. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you would like to do that as well, as I do have an Instagram and Twitter for this YouTube channel. And I tend to post updates about videos going up as long as I have them planned out. And then on top of that, I also will like just post appreciation posts about the community, like if I get this many views on a video and I wasn't really expecting it like with my collection video I want to say that has almost 1.7 thousand views in total on it it's crazy dude for such a small channel I never expected to have that many views on an hour and like 10 minute video I'm not exactly sure how long it is but yeah before I keep talking my ear off though I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. I hope your Easter was good. Mine was pretty alright, just kind of a standard day. We had our dinner yesterday on Monday, but yeah. On that note, have a good rest of your day, you guys. Peace out, yo.